Hello there, and welcome to another Harnessy documentary, where I have a very special guest right behind in this famous Steamtown Museum. All this will be revealed within the second, as I'll explain later. So, for the second time in the series, let's go steam train hunting! Yeah! Today, as we can see, we're in the historic railway village at Carnival here in Lancashire, as I said earlier in the beginning of this program. We're here today to witness history in the making. For the first time since she was withdrawn from the British Railways, she will she has returned to the main line. Particularly in their Steam Town Museum at Carnival. Unfortunately, we can't go in there now because it's privately owned at the hands of West Coast Railways, which is why the best train operating company locomotives and special charter trains. Special charter trains. And we are witnessing the return of Jubilee, LMS Jubilee, number 5699, Galatea. Galatea. She was built by the LMS in the 1930s. She had a wonderful career right up to British Railways. She had so many transfers to other sheds, including going into Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury at one time, before she was withdrawn by British Railways in the 1960s. And then she was sold off to the famous Dywoodham Scrapyard of Barry in South Wales. Now, unfortunately, there was a shunting accident where one of her driving wheels was cut by accident. And we thought, like what happened to 6023 King Edward II, for restoration impossible. Although she was rescued from Barry Scrapyard, but only bought originally as a spare donor, no, supplying spare parts, to her fellow sister, and fellow preserve Jubilee, number 5690, Leander. Leander. But happily, David Smith bought the locomotive, which he owns today, and has been undergoing restoration here in these very workshops at Carnforth. We are waiting for the anticipated return of her to the main line. As you can see, she is steaming up. Building up more steam now. Um, you recognise that ch double chimney over there? That is actually of John Cameron's Union of South Africa which there will be another special documentary for the A4 in the near future, but we don't know when yet. All we're focusing on is on Galatea, which you can see, looking at the dome and the top feed, it's in Crimson Lake livery. Now, that might cause a bit of confusion here, because before she was withdrawn in February of 2011, 5690 Leander carried Crimson Lake. But Leander apparently is still undergoing overhaul here in these very workshops at Carnforth. And what we're focused on is Galatea. Galatea. As you can see, she is still building up steam. Although she should have been due offsite 10 minutes ago. Well, apparently they're leaving it late again, like they did with the K1 earlier in February. the moment. The first glimpse of Galatea, ladies and gentlemen, in LMS Crimson Lake livery. What a sight. In the same livery as her sister Leander.
There we are, she's now officially on the national network for the first time. To see the popular good old sprinter has passed her. A double header as well. And here she comes, ladies and gentlemen, just reversing into the platform. Now, for this moment, as she rolls in, I will remain silent so you enjoy the sights and sounds of steam. Well, she is going down the loop. Oh no, it's Leander's number. Leander. There, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, there is Galatea, but look at that. She is officially carrying the identity of fellow preserved sister Leander. Apparently, I heard rumors that she had failed with a hot axle box. And there, the inspectors are not convinced that she, it's not safe enough yet. That's all I know at the moment. But, um, because, as you can see, she's still got the headlamp fixed to her buffer beam. Well, we don't know what's going to happen yet, or we're going to drag her back to the sheds. But we don't know what's going to happen. Right. It is time to end the video diary. This documentary of Galatea. Which is not on the way I want to be. But, uh, but it was fun while it lasted. Spice came to a shocking conclusion that it came in Leander's identity. Um, it's time to end the video. Now you can follow me if you want on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter, and you can subscribe to me on YouTube. You and, uh, so if you want to follow me on any of those on social media, you can. Join me again soon for some more steam train hunting, yes? Yeah.